Hey, what's up? It's Wes here, a.k.a. Seahawks and his prime. Welcome back to the channel, the Seahawks Times, your NFL everything channel. So if you love football, you should subscribe right now. I'm a real one, a true diehard fan. Been watching football since the late 80s. And I'm going to bring you a new exciting segment today in which I do my weekly pick -ems. Look, I'm a game behind. You know, if you didn't watch the game on Thursday, that was Josh Allen and Stefan Diggs taking the Los Angeles Rams to the cleaners, like all the way to the detergent section. But I got respect for the Rams. Of course, you know, they are the champs, reigning champs. They will bounce back but the bills look super hungry so shout outs bills mafia you guys had an awesome game i love watching you guys play football and it's just great to see the helmets back on and people clashing let's go from the top here see optimus prime picks for the week one of the nfl season this will start with the 49ers and the bears i have the 49ers winning this game chicago is going to be better than people think i really like justin fields and still believe in him but he still just has mooney and Komet to me that's what i see is the actual options uh you know montgomery good running back but they will not be able to penetrate the San Francisco D-line, which is still one of the best in the NFL, if not a top three NFL D-line, along with all the other weapons. Even though I'm a Seahawks fan, I recognize the consistency that Kyle Shanahan has brought to the San Francisco 49ers and respect their lineage. So I always say that as that's my rival team, I do have respect for my, my rival teams and all NFL teams and what they have been able to accomplish. Okay, so Niners take out the Bears. Uh, that got really deep for a second, but that's all good. Patriots versus Dolphins. You know, I want to say that the Pats can do this, but it won't happen we will have the Dolphins winning I really love what their new coach is doing he's bringing a super dope culture uh, to the fins of nation out there and uh, you know Miami they're just gonna look different I think they're gonna be not necessarily a full Cinderella story but a team that can really just come out with speed and knock teams off they already have a good defense established Dolphins win uh, Colts Texans I really like this game I'm super pumped on the on the Houston Texans uh, just from the perspective of I'm higher on Davis Mills than other people are and you know Brandon Cooks is no joke and I like their run running game. Pierce is insane. Uh, and Nico Collins in them, you know, and then defensively, they're looking totally different and fresh, but they cannot take out the Colts in this game because I think that, you know, Matt Ryan in this situation is very dangerous. Uh, Colts have a lot of receivers that are coming back from injuries that could be really, really good. You know what I mean? Paris Campbell in them, um, you know, Pittman's only going to get better, even though I think he's more of a vertical kind of Keenan Allen. I, I respect this team. They have sneaky weapons everywhere, loyal players on offense and defense. You throw Matt Ryan in there, that's a W for them. Uh, that's what I think is going to happen in that game. Okay, Packers Vikings. Awesome division rivalry game. You know, that's going to be a serious matchup. I want to say that the Packers are going to do this, but I don't think they will until they find out what Romeo Dubs and them can really do. If those rookies go off there and they look good, I know Watson might not be involved in that. You know, Aaron Rodgers is always a threat to win, but I just, I think that, you know, it's just going to be a Vikings thing, a skull thing on that day. Um, you know, maybe they split later in the year, uh, but the, uh, the Vikings Vikings drop them. Uh, Bucks, Cowboys, that's that's in the evening. We'll get back to that game. I'm um, going stay in the morning games. Eagles, Lions. I love this game too. AJ Brown now with the Eagles. You know, that's looking really exciting for them. But I don't know, man. People are really hyped on the Eagles. I don't think that he's, he's so amazing. He's like a top tier guy. But I don't know if he pushes the envelope for the whole team unless Jalen Hurts can really like establish himself and stay calm. The Lions to me have like a really underrated team. Like the Lions to me actually like I said this last year, but their defense didn't come together. Uh, they can just be crazy this year. Yes, with Jared Goff, they are primed. I love their coaching staff, and I love that their city is so underdog, uh, underdog and behind them. There's no disrespect to Philly, but the Lions look like really savage. You know, I mean, they got Swift. They got guys who could be marquee at position at all positions, like except for QB. That's crazy. Uh, Lions win. Uh, Bengals, Steelers. Uh, you know, Steelers Nation. Uh, you know, terrible towels. Uh, you know, they're they're wild, man. Steelers. You know, Pittsburgh, a, a really serious place. You know, serious football tradition. I love Najee Harris. You know, I think they're confused at QB. I'm not saying Trubisky's like bad, but I do not think that they are going to knock off uh, Joe Cool, who's like the next coming of Joe Montana with like the demeanor of Jack Nicholson. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, with Jamar Chase, who's like the type of receiver that should be in like a, a, a new movie about football. You know, he's just awesome. So, you know, that that's is, is what it is. Bengals win. Uh, Browns, Panthers. You know, like once again, like you just get a situation where you have a quarterback like that just has no fear no mercy and you know what he he slides right into the this team and just i think he's just gonna energize it we haven't seen cmc cmc has light tread on his tires he's like 26 i think he's the type of guy that can get around the browns even like get to outside of those players like warden garrett and them ah this is an upset for me i got a panthers winning this game uh shout outs cleveland ohio east 19 9 you know uh shout outs them uh saints falcons uh saints 
You know, Falcons just aren't it yet, but I can't wait to see, you know, my fantasy team blow up with, with Kyle Pitts uh, and Mariota sneaking people out because Mariota was throwing to Delaney Walker like back in the day. And Delaney Walker is like, I'm as fast as him. So Kyle Pitts is going to get his. Don't trip on that. He's an up and coming team, uh, up and coming player. Uh, Commanders, Jaguars, you know, I want to say Trevor can do this uh, and the Jags can take this game, but I'm not going to. Uh, scary Terry and them do the deed here. Uh, Giants, Titans. This was a tough pick for me. You know, I, I like, I like what the Giants did in the offseason. I'm going to stick on the ground with Henry here and just think that, you know, they just still get it done against the Giants. Uh, you know, they got Derek and, you know, it's just, it's a bit much uh, early in the year. At least uh, Cardinals, Chiefs, uh, Mahomes is just too much. Cardinals struggling to find weapons right now with Rondell Moore going down. Uh, DeAndre, DeAndre Hopkins on suspension. It's going to be tough for them to, to pull out a win here against Patty Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, and all those types of guys. You know what I mean? Sky Moore, who uh, also is a sleeper. Um, you know, Nicole Hardman is no joke either so you know that's that's a win for the case okay dolphins pats i got the dolphins their coach is fantastic they're building a really really great culture there he's kind of like the young don shula so much swag and uh i just think the speed of the dolphins really really kills and then they're going to take out the pats there uh you know it is what it is um and then you know another huge game we've got the chargers and the raiders shout out to raiders nation and the la chargers formerly the san diego chargers um you know i got the chargers in this game there's no disrespect to what the raiders have built the raiders are going to be a deep playoff team but the chargers defense adding jc Jackson and uh, Khalil Mack. That's just amazing to me with Derwin James healthy under contract. Uh, Chargers win that game. And then the Sunday night game, uh, Cowboys Nation uh, versus the Tampa Bay Bucks. Uh, Tom Brady coming off of a quick facial surgery and some marital issues. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I do have the Bucks winning this game. You know, this could be another bad call by me, but I think the Bucks still have too much going on, even without Godwin playing. If Godwin doesn't suit up, uh, the Bucks are just too, uh, too good at engineering drives there. Takes the Dallas Cowboys typically a little bit to find their grounds that's what i got for you guys there uh bronco seahawks you know i'm gonna pick the seahawks until further notice um but you know that's a lot of, a very controversial game you know russ should come out ready for that game and technically we, technically we should be the underdog i've said that over and over but seattle uh, the energy the electricity the running game i don't know richard penny's 232 right now running extremely fast um, i don't even think randy gregory or chubb can get to those guys because denver's linebacking is weak that's why i'm picking Seattle in this game. Their linebacking is weak, which would, I think will be a top five running game. This has nothing to do about the Smith-Russell conversation. I think Russell gets his. I just don't think that they can do it continually enough with just like Cortland Sutton, Hamler, and them. Like, I know those guys are decent, but, you know, the Seattle DBs are playing against Tyler Lockett and DK Metcalf all game long. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'll practice. Anyways, I love you guys. Uh, this is a lot of fun to do these pick-ems. Uh, tell me what you think. Tell me who you think is going to win or lose.